Janome. Hi, everyone. I'm Ann Hine, Embroidery Software Specialist for Janome America. And today I'm going to talk to you about the AccuAssist app. This app is good for our CM17. You can connect to it wirelessly to the machine and you're able to send from the app here right to your machine. This is like having a manual at your fingertips. It's broken into ordinary sewing, sewing applications, embroidery, and then common information. So in the ordinary sewing, you can open up a stitch chart and it opens with utility and buttonhole. And across the bottom, you can pick other areas to go into. Your decorative groupings are right here. If there's something you wanted to look in here, maybe the kids, you want to open up the kids designs and you can scroll through. And if there's something you wanted, you could select it like that. You can pinch and make it bigger to say, oh yeah, that is what I want. And when you select it, you can send it directly to your machine if you are connected wirelessly. I am not connected right now. I can see that because my machine has an exclamation point. But I would send it directly to my machine. And as long as there's no open windows on the screen of my machine, it would go directly to my machine. So I would not have to go back to my machine and look for the stitch. So you can do that for all of that area. You can go in here to the monogramming and you can pick a a letter that you want and send it off to the machine as well. And our specialty stitches too. We have tapering and we also have the mirage stitches are here too. So you can do the same thing with all of these groupings. Moving down under sewing preparation, you have uh, the items under the basic part here and then you have the applications uh, following after that if you look at the bottom of the screen. So in here, it, you can select replacing a needle. It'll talk to you about your needle status. There's little videos in here on how to change a needle and shows you what to do. Select the lock. So your machine is locked. Then you're going to unscrew your needle. Take your needle out. Put a new needle in. And it's showing you that the flat should go to the back. And then tighten it with the screwdriver. So you can look at the basic ones here, or you can go down here to the applications, and there are applications here, like the cloth guide, how to use the cloth guide. So it gives you an overview, shows you how to attach it, how to adjust it. There's some notes about the information in the little window that come up, removing the cloth guide. So all of this is right here at your fingertips. Under your machine functions, under ordinary sewing machine functions, there's the main, there's dialogue, and there's operating buttons. So here I can look at my stitch pattern groups, and these are the icons that you will see on your screen. So if I wanted to look at the decorative stitch selection, these are the different groupings of decorative stitches. And these are not selectable like in the other areas. So when I go back, if I go to dialogue, I get more information. So if I wanted to do something with hand stitch, st hand stitch style in here, it shows how to adjust, uh, select my patterns, the stitch length, all of that, how to move the cursor, all that information. Function menu, what you can find under the function menu. That's where your quick stitch select is, your quilt block advisor. The manual dual feed, that's when you're using your AccuFeed foot for a decorative stitch. You can adjust the rate of speed of your uh, AccuFeed foot. When you're just using it with a straight stitch, it is located on, just on the screen of your machine. And there's machine information under there as well. Quick, quick stitch select is there so you can uh, pick it up just by the box here if you know what grouping that you want to be in. And then there's operating buttons. So these explain all the different buttons. We have, the, of course, our start stop button, how that works. And there's some extra information like pressing and holding this button while sewing will slow the sewing speed and the machine will stop when the button is released. Press your foot lifter button, speed control slider. This also has a little display on the machine and if I was connected, I could touch there and it would uh, highlight would show on the machine where this is going to be. Okay, so moving along, 
Under manual stitch settings, we have our common settings here. So it's talking about uh, needle drop position, adjusting width, adjusting length, tension, um, auto tension, bobbin, and how to adjust for the bobbin, presser foot lift, uh, a presser foot level adjustment, and also the dual feet adjustment, balance adjustment. So it talks about how to use the dual feet adjustment. You'll also have that under your special one. So if you are going into blind hem, it'll show you where the needle is going to be on the left um, or the right, depending on where you need to hold your fabric. And then it'll show the outside part. So it gives you information on what those are going to look like and a little bit more information. Floating mode is something new for us. So when you select floating mode, uh, it talks about adjusting the height of the presser foot height. And it adjusts the height, but it doesn't change the pressure. So it still keeps it at the same uh, pressure, but you could raise it up a little bit or put it down a little bit. Okay, moving along, the overview goes back through. If there's something here that uh, you needed to go over, you could uh, come in here and pick this as the one on button sewing regular, and re you can press on these and it'll give you more information. Again, these are removing the presser feet. So it, all of these feet up here, it shows you that how, to re how to remove them just by selecting them. So uh, you can find more information as you go through. When you get into sewing applications, first what comes up is our sewing application chart. And this is the same that you'll see on the machine under the function menu under sewing applications. 